welcome everybody. You know what time it is. It's time to Ignite Humanity. I'm your host and super supporter of Igniting Humanity. I'm JB Owen and super happy to be here today. Guess what, folks? It's Friday. It's phenomenal, fabulous, fun, and let's see what other fun F words can we figure out because it's Friday, Friday, Friday. And we want you to have fun while you join us for the next 30 minutes as we talk about ways for you to ignite humanity. That's right. We are stepping into a new era, everyone, on ways for us to uplift each other and connect on a way we have never done before. The world is coming together like in ways that we've never seen in history. And now we have the opportunity to ignite one another and, and make a big impact on what we can do going forward. This show is all about how you can ignite humanity and the little things that you do that create a massive ripple effect on the planet. And it's your unique story. It's you, your unique talent. It's the gifts. It's the things that you bring to humanity that we really want to see. You know, if you think about in 2019, we were all kind of like caught up with a lot of things that really weren't about ourselves. We were watching the Kardashians, Into Survivor, you know, everybody was just going through the motions, driving their car, going to work, like just on autopilot. And suddenly the world really shook and woke us all up to the opportunities that we have to make a difference. And I think now more than ever, as we think about the generations to come, as we think about the world as it's unfolding, as we think about all the things that are changing, we as a society, each and every one of us needs to stand up and make an impact in our own lives so that we can shine the light for others to do the same. Now, it's not about a revolution. It's not about a revolt. It's about a mission. It's about a message. It's about a movement. It's about ensuring that each and every one of us care about the planet and each other in such a way that we all can live harmoniously. And now more than ever, we are so reliant on each other in ways that we didn't ever have to do before. Co countries were sovereign nations, but now we need each other. We need fuel and, and timber and electricity and hydroelectricity from all different countries. We need to support one another. And that's what this show is all about, how you can support yourself by supporting someone else. And that is going to create this huge, tremendous impact ripple effect around the planet. So stay tuned as we talk about ways for you to ignite humanity. Now, they're not big, huge, magnificent ways that you feel like you can't do them. They're actually very easy, powerful ways that each and every one of us can do just as we wake up every day and be like, what am I going to do today? Well, I'm going to do a little bit of something to ignite my life and ignite someone else. And so my guests are going to share with you some powerful ways that you can ignite yourself and help others. Now, today's Friday, as I said, right at the top of the show. And our theme today is all about solutions. So we're going to give you some solutions and some things to do. So you feel easy and comfortable to be like, you know what, JB, I can absolutely do that. I can help others and ignite humanity in the same way. And our guests are going to share with you, well, our single guest is going to share with you some of the solutions that she did to ignite humanity. All right, well, before we jump into it, let me share with you where you can find all of our recordings. And I'm super blessed to share that we are reaching out to over 4.5 million viewers. 4.5 million viewers are on our network in 190 different countries. We are available. And so wherever you are in the world, we say blessings to you. And we hope that you are igniting humanity in your corner of the globe. And if you'd like to see more of what we're up to, please go to our website and check out our previous uh, episodes so you can see all our other guests and make sure that uh, somebody share something that inspires you. Go to ignitehumanity.life and check out all of our episodes. They're absolutely free. We don't sell anything to you. We just want you to be a part of the community and see the ways that you can ignite humanity. And one of the ways that we're doing that is building schools. And we want to tell you, our first school is going to be built in Indonesia. And it is critical, folks, that we help the students there in Indonesia. It is becoming a crisis situation where there are so many children displaced and they absolutely need to go to school. One of the fundamental laws that we've created, the principles of igniting humanity is number one, and that is igniting people and raising their consciousness to know what is possible. When we can put kids in school, we can make a massive difference in what's possible for them. So please donate. Go check it out. We've got a wonderful site, ignitehumanity.life backslash donate. And you can see we partnered with Classroom of Hope to build some schools and ignite some lives. All right, without further ado, let me share with you who is going to be on the show today. 
Renee Cunningham, also known as the Diamond Polisher, is a transformational speaker, entrepreneur, international best-selling author, thought leader, and leadership life coach. That's right. She's the CEO and founder of The Polish Experience and has been able to transform her decades of business experience into personalized programs that inspires and teaches others how to shine, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, here she comes, Miss Renee Cunningham. Welcome to the show. Hey, JB, how are you? <laughs> blessed and blessed. So happy to have you here. Thanks for showing up and, and welcome to Fabulous Friday. Yes, I love it. And I agree 120%. It is Fabulous Friday. I'm feeling good. I'm loving the mission that we have ahead of us and nothing else. We're able to talk to people about igniting humanity and just move forward in this world that we were blessed to be in. It's time for us to act. Isn't it true? Isn't it yeah. true? Well, let's use let's use your bu buzzword. Mine is ignite. Yours is shine. Talk a little yeah. bit about the power of shining, how we can shine ourselves. Well, I tell individuals because, as you know, my name is Renee Cunningham and I am the owner and operator of the Polish Experience. And I truly want to work with that emerging transformational transitional individual that's stuck saying, I know there's better in my life and how can I achieve it? And it usually just needs someone to walk alongside them, which is a coach itself. So my shy method really talks about the principles of S surrounding yourself with your all-stars, your diamond tribe, those people that really support you and that have your back and that will tell you honestly that, hey, that, that doesn't look so good. Oh, yes, it does. It's perfect for you. Then the H talks about honoring the shero or hero inside of you. You've done and lived a life. You've done a lot of great things in your life celebrate yourself, pat yourself on the back and say, you know what? I did that. And that means that it's steps for you to do more. And then I, I talk about igniting the passion. I think that during the pandemic and uh, people really lost their passion. They didn't know what they wanted to do and how they wanted to go. And they wanted to really discover it again. Igniting that is just a small match, a small flicker that takes control. And then you got in, which is nurturing your gifts. All of us were born with God given gifts. How do you use it? Are you using it for service or are you hiding it? It's time to uncover it and let it be big in this world. And then E, I really focus in and help individuals elevate their lives. Elevation takes you from one altitude to the next, just like when you're on a plane. I tell a lot of people when you're going from one degree to the next, you can expect a little trouble or turbulence itself. But guess what? If you buckle your seatbelt on and prepare yourself, you will elevate to the next level in your life. And that's my shine method that I talk to people about. Boom! <laughs> right out of the gate. I love it. I love it. And I love that you took the word shine and you spelled it out and then you gave a definition and a solution, folks, solution yeah. day, a solution and an inspiration to each and every one of the ways that we can shine. And it's true. You know, all of us, we need sometimes uh, a, a system or a formula or something that we can sort of grok into that's going to support us in remembering some of the key components. And I think your shine analogy is so fantastic. You know, often I have uh, my community, my authors, the people that I mentor take their own name and the letters in their name and add really powerful um, adjectives to their to the letters in their name. And so folks, one of the solutions you can do today is wake up, write out your name on a piece of paper, just like Renee did, write it down the page with, a, with each letter, and then write something fabulous about yourself with each of the letters in your name to just really uplift you. Well, Renee, thank you for giving us that idea on the shine formula. Which one is your favorite? Let me just ask you that. Out of the different letters, which one do you feel most resonates with you? In this day and time, especially, uh, I, I, just, I tell people my heart is towards young individuals at this point that age 18 to 45 itself. And it's about S, surrounding yourself with your all-stars or your diamond tribe, finding out the people that are going to be in your life, not just for a temporary moment, but those people are going to plant themselves and be with you for the long haul, that support you, that love you with makeup on or not that love you with your clothes all dyed up or not, that just want to be and want the best for you, S is the one that sticks out for me. And I'm very, very intentional about who I allow in my space, who I want to commune with and network with. We were in the house so long. I was uh, looking at some statistics, JB, about suicide and how the stressors really made people, especially college students and young adults, 
there was an alarming increase in suicides. It was up to 42% because mm. people need people. Mm. And finding the right people to feed positively into your life is imperative during this time. If you're going to move to the next level, if you're going to be your best, make sure the people that are in your corner are truly there for you to support you and uplift you and provide resources when things are not going well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that because I think a lot of people, when they're not feeling good about themselves, they, they want to withdraw. You know, they feel like, I don't want anyone to see me. You know, I'm not happy right now. I don't want to bring anybody down. You know, I don't look good. I'm not the weight I want to be. I'm not the, I don't got the job. I've got nothing to talk about. Like, so they isolate themselves and they insulate themselves because they're not feeling at their best. And I'm sure there's someone listening right now that we could really pour into, shine some light on. Can you give us some pull people forward ideas, you know, throw them the lifeline. Let's bring them into the life raft. Even well, when you're not feeling great, what do you suggest? There's two things I really suggest. I believe in manifestation and affirmations. So for me, I tell people, write out 20 affirmations, things that you know, I am smart. I am kind. I do show up for my friends. I am bigger and smarter than what I've ever been in my life. I am worthy. Write these out and put them somewhere where you can see them daily so you can feed your spirit. That allows you opportunity to help combat those negative thoughts because all of us have them. But the thing about it, what do you have in place to be proactive instead of reactionary when it comes to the combating that loneliness and that feeling of withdrawal? And the second thing I do, and uh, if you ever look at my website or so, I love to dance. I think movement is imperative. I think that the songs have rhythm and have vibrations to them. Get you a playlist. Make mm -hmm. you a happy shine playlist or Renee playlist or JB, JB playlist. A playlist of songs that you know the moment you hear it is going to change your life. Like for me, I'm every woman. I'm walking <laughs> on sunshine. You know, <laughs> those type of songs get you the juices pumping. Bruno Mars, you know, uh, 24 karat gold. Yes, I am around here dancing. And I love some Beyonce as well. But having that playlist, because when those bad thoughts come, when you want to withdraw, you need to be able to put something to change the atmosphere. Because all it is, is your atmosphere is trying to bring that dark doom and gloom. We got to bring you out. So affirmations and putting on that music, getting that playlist together are two tools I use to bring you out of the darkness. Ding, ding, ding. Solution day. <laughs> two fantastic solutions. <laughs> Let's talk about the first one, affirmations. Now, one of the things that you and I have talked about before is that negative self-talk that people actually do. So like, I'm so stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm dumb or I'm not smart. So we actually have very negative I am statements. And I know that you always talk about counteracting them. What did Mr. Les Brown tell us about? Like, you need like 40 positive affirmations to like negate one negative. Yeah. And so when you say negative things, it's really, really detrimental to the spirit. And so um, writing them out, you suggest, have you ever, do you have any other ideas look like putting them on the mirror or putting them in little notes in your pocket? Yes. And then everybody knows we all have our cell phones with us wherever we go. So why don't you, <laughs> I have two apps that I use. One is I am, and it is an app free on Google play or um, your Apple store. And then the other one is motivation. The I am app though is very strategic because it really pops up sporadically throughout the day. And it gives you like five different ones throughout the day. And it reminds you to refocus your mind. Because sometimes I understand that when you get to those low mo moments, to have uh, the ability to go reach for it or to find it is not uh, in your wheelhouse at that point. But if it pops up on your phone, it reminds you. And then there's another little uh, trick. And I'm going to give a shout out to one of my fellow coaches, uh, his name is Nicholas R. And the R stands for Great List Powell. He talks about a mindset itself. And he actually sets an alarm on his phone throughout the day, various times. And it's his gratitude alarm. Mm. Wherever he's at and the alarm goes off, anyone in the room with him has to stop at that moment and talk about what they're grateful for. That was so empowering to be. I've been in the room with him several times and it went off and I'm like, oh, it's time for our gratitude tip. <laughs> and those are things that... If you set up yourself intentionally, especially those of you that know that you have bouts of depression, mental illness runs in your family and things that really just don't go well for you, you got to set yourself up for success. This is where you take control now. 
this year of 2023, uh, it equals seven, which is completeness. But how are you going to be complete if you don't set the tools and put them in place for you to use? And sometimes these tools got to be automatic. That's what I want you to have, automatic tools to help you live a successful life. Yeah, and it is really about cadence and practice. I do an I am practice every night before I go to sleep. When I turn the lights off, lay down, my head's on the pillow, instead of all that like, oh, I didn't get this done, I didn't get that done, I should have done this, I literally coach, train, and program myself. I'm grateful for the day. I'm happy that this happened. I'm thankful. I am, you know, excited. I'm energetic. I'm full. And I give myself like, all the I am statements possible before I go to sleep to set my mind and my subconscious in the right direction while I'm sleeping, because it's easy to lay in bed and just sort of beat ourselves up for the things that we didn't do. So great, great suggestion. Folks, solution for today, start writing out some I am statements or when you go to bed, tell yourself some great things. And then of course, music, I'm with you on the music one. I just love finding some music that inspires you and, and lifts you up. And so, uh, again, playlists are a great idea. And I love turning on the music in the car, making it a little extra loud and having some fun with it. Yes, yes, yes. That's amazing. Because then you get people looking at you like, what is wrong with her? And it <laughs> what just about <laughs> That's like they're laughing. <laughs> and then it changes their mood. And you didn't, it, you didn't do it intentionally. It was unintentionally. That joy jumps off you and jumps onto them. <laughs> Hmm. Well, see, it's so obvious how joyous your spirit is and you are shining the light. Let's back it up a little bit because some people are like, well, she's got it easy. Her life must be great. But I know that you've had some ignite moments for you that have helped you get to this place and have shifted your mindset. Would you like to share some of those? Sure, JB. The thing that I, as I think about igniting humanity, I really believe that we as humans are supposed to connect with one another. And if we don't, there becomes a detriment in our very being of who we are. We, we start lacking self-confidence and it just brings us down. So for me, I had a personal story where a young lady in the month of November during the height of the pandemic itself, she was a uh, nurse and she was a telenurse. So she was at home doing her job, working every day, had a son as well. And from November to March. She sat in her room, did her work, but drunk herself to death. And she was under 45. Hmm. So when she got off the computer, just imagine she was so uh, distur disturbed by just all of the pressures and the stresses of work and taking care of family and what was going on in the society that the only way that she found as a coping mechanism was to drink. And alcoholism has gotten as an all time high. And for me, the part that it really pierced my soul is that now this young boy under 10 does not have a mother. And the number of individuals that have committed suicide or have uh, pretty much killed themselves by liver disease, by drinking, the, the sense of alcoholism, drinking has went up all time high, really hurt my soul because there's so many individuals out here that find these uh, stressors, a way to cope with things that are detrimental to their bodies and the lasting effects. That young boy now has to live with relatives. He has, he does not have his mother. He's remembering things. And how do you explain that to him? Mm -hmm. And we have another generation that is go not going to be real reared by their mother itself. So for me, that moment really ignited in me that there has to be a lifeline, a, a group of individuals that you know that if you haven't talked to someone in two or three days, I'm going to call them and see what's going on. I'm not going to text. We got to be get back to the human touch itself. So much so that what I do is that, and my dad actually started, and I didn't even think about this before the pandemic. He would take his phone book and remember that. Remember a phone book? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and remember when we remember people's phone numbers? Oh, my God. I, I could not. Three people, I think I have phone numbers down pat. But what he would do is actually go through the phone book and call everybody in there. He didn't hold long conversations. He was like, hey, how you doing? Just want to see how you're doing and hang up. But what it was, it was a sign of I'm here. You're here. We're OK. It was a connection. And I have people in my life that if I call them or they call me and they hear it in my voice, if I say hello the wrong way, they know something's wrong. Right. And what that did for me is that 
do you have people in your life that know when you're trying to to paint everything to be beautiful and rosy and you're all on social media, everything's gorgeous and fine is that when they call you, they can see your heart. They can hear it in your voice and speak to it and speak life to it. I had a situation yesterday where a young lady, we were doing some business together, but when she called me, I could tell something was off. I don't care about business at that point. I care about you as a human. And if we get back to each other, caring about each other as humans, JB, we will be so much better. I tell everyone, when you got, you have people coming back to offices, you have people going out doing network, talking about we outside now, everybody, we outside. We are, uh, you know, we're going on trips and we're taking our family different places. But while you're outside, that human connection is still important. Are you making valuable, mutually beneficial connections that will last for a lifetime because we need each other? We're each other's lifeline. It's about that connection for me. Well, you just made me think of the second principle of the Ignite Humanity principles. It's about uniting all people, like capital A-L-L, -L, igniting all people and connecting everyone. And I think it's true. We have the technology to connect with everyone. We have the ability to reach all people. And so why wouldn't we want to connect with them? Why wouldn't we want to make them feel like they, that someone cares about them, that they have that human connection? I love what you said about reaching out. I've gotten the habit now of doing voice text instead of just word text because even hearing the voice and the tonality and the fun and the playful is really actually very helpful. And then you and I, let's just take it a little, another level, is when you leave those voice texts or when you reach out to somebody, be authentic and yeah. be a good listener because when you surround yourself with a tribe and you shine on others, one of the ways that you shine is you listen and you hold space for them. Wouldn't you agree? Now, definitely. It's about that empathy piece. People don't know, care how much, uh, don't, you know, care how much, you know, they care how much they want to know how much you care really mm. uh, and how you are showing up for them in an empathetic moment. You're not waiting for the next breath to talk. You want to listen and breathe. So a little exercise people can do is stop, <laughs> take a breath then respond. That allows you the opportunity to engage with, any people, with individuals, look them in the eye and know that I'm here for you and feel that connection. So yes, I love the voice of connection as well. I do a lot of that now. I think people can hear the laughter in my voice because I, when I speak, I want to speak with a smile across my face. Amen. And how many times have we got a text and we read it wrong? Or how many times is, have, have you sent a text and somebody misconstrued it? Because text is, is it's open for interpretation. Like even yeah. though the words are there, anyone can in, insert any kind of tonality to it. And so when you leave a message, a voice message, it's so powerful. And that brings me to sort of as we wrap up words, how important is the words that we use and the and again you have this beautiful shine analogy you have all of these ways that people can connect how about just that sharing the word if you want to share talk about that for me the word for the day when we talk about connect and human remember that you're human and that other people are human and that human really i want to break that down h stands for helping those in need you is Use your unique talents to up and build other individuals. M is you be motivated and empower to your full potential so that you can let other people's light shine. A is act with integrity. And N is never give up on your dreams and strive to make a difference daily. Because if you let your life shine daily, you will make a difference wherever you go. Thank you, JB. Boom, that was beautiful. We just segued into that perfect. I didn't know you had that little gem hiding there. <laughs> We're like telepathic. Uh, yes, we, are. we are connected. You're right. Amen. Oh, I love that. That. Amen. I love you so much. I just yes. shine my light on you because you shine your light on me. And I just want to say thank you so much. Folks, if you want to know more about what the amazing Renee Cunningham is doing, please go to her website, thereneeexperience.com. You can find out lots about her, obviously an author, speaker, trainer, coach, beautiful individual. And I just want to mm -hmm. say thank you for being on the show. And thank you for the invitation. It is beautiful to hum unite humanity. And hope everybody have an excellent, fantastic Friday. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, gorgeous. As you can see, we love having people share great solutions with you and the many different things that you could do. So get that app. We'll all just grab our phones. Let's get that app on our phones for about gratitude and the I am statements. Go and play some fun music and then make sure that you connect with somebody. Start sending some voice messages and really put your heart and soul and love into it. And if you want to put your heart and soul and love into something, please take a moment to donate to our charity. We are collecting bricks of hope. That's right. Bricks of hope for every dollar you donate. It buys a brick to go towards one of our schools. And now more than ever, I will just impress upon you. Kids need education. Kids need to be cared for. They need to be in an environment that supports them. And so we would love for you to donate. Now, if you're looking for some fun and you want to be on our show, we would love to have you because you might be Igniting Humanity and we want to hear about it. Please go fill out our form at ignitehumanity.life backslash share. And if you have a friend who's doing something kind of cool, you could fill out a form for them and our team will reach out to them and make them a part of the show. We love having and hearing about people who are igniting humanity and we want to support as many people as possible. No matter where you are in the world, we want to hear from you because we want different voices. We want diversity. We want inclusion. We want to hear it from everyone. My goal is to ignite 7 billion lives by hearing their ignite moments. And I truly believe we can do it. Absolutely, we can do it. So just to recap, in case this is your first time joining us, we do have seven beautiful principles that we'd like you to know about. The seven igniting humanity principles. Let me read them to you. Raise the consciousness of what is possible. Just imagine you can do anything you dream of, and it is all possible. Knowing that it is possible is the beginning of making it possible. Number two, Renee talked about it. Unite all people and connect everyone. We absolutely have an opportunity to reach every single person. It doesn't matter where they are in the world. It doesn't matter their age. It doesn't matter where they are and what language they speak. We can connect on a human level. The uh, experience of sharing, of putting out your hand, of hugging, that, that isn't about language, about speaking French or English or German or Spanish. It's about the language of love. And the language of love truly does make an impact. Love and laughter. I hope you guys laughed a little bit today because that is going to connect us all. Number three is instill true happiness and inner peace. That's right. We all deserve to feel happy. We all deserve inner peace and we can absolutely get there. We just have to make some changes. We just have to decide that the way it's been doesn't need to be the way it's going to be going forward. Just because it was that way or it's going that way doesn't mean we can't course correct and make it different. We want to foster positive, positive expansion and loving evolution. That means each and every one of us gets the opportunity to rise above, empower self and empower others, live authentically and with genuine integrity. It's truly so important that when you are your genuine self, that's what people love. People love you being you. So don't ever shy away from being you. And as Renee said, let it shine, let it shine, let you shine, because that's what people want to see. And last but not least, give first and offer all you can. When you give, you get. I tell my kids that all the time. When you give, you get. It's just a law. It's how it works. So give all you can and help humanity. Well, thanks for being with us. Tomorrow's guest is Chelly Phillips. She's going to be talking about all the things that she's doing on her mission to build people-centered cultures. We'll see you next time. Lots of love and have a great day. Now, more than ever, we need to come together to connect with one another. We need to feel the truth in who we are and let go of everything that's happened in the past. We need to empower every person on the planet and awaken hearts, enliven souls, come together, laugh, play, rejoice, connect, create, and love. It's time to ignite humanity. We want you to be a part of something that will impact the future for everyone. We want you to tell your story, share your Ignite moment, show people who you truly are. Be a part of igniting humanity and making a difference in the world and all of our futures. <laughs>